It's actually very nice to have a warm drink right before you start your day, especially if it's a cold morning like today. It's refreshing to have just a warm cup of coffee or if you do not fancy coffee, you can have any other drink. As long as it's warm, it's making you feel comfortable. And yeah, as long as you relax, you should be able to start your day pretty well and well, come on, just let's take a warm drink. I think it should be nice for you. So today, early in the morning, there will be a class that I am teaching. And hopefully, uh, this class goes well. I've prepared some of the materials and I've prepared some of the things already. All that's left to do is to prepare myself. And hopefully, today goes well. So maybe I will catch up on you in a bit. Okay, so the lesson went quite well and there have been a few things that I actually noticed uh, during the lesson which I took some time to analyze and reflect and here we are right now just trying to see what we can do in this vlog to just think back of what actually happened and what we can actually do to improve. So for the cognition part of this vlog, I want to just briefly tell what I have planned for the students. So uh, in this particular lesson that I planned for them, I decided to teach my students about identifying supporting details in a reading text. So I really wanted the students to use this lesson in a way where they are able to not only identify but understand the differences between main ideas and supporting details, how to identify it as well in terms of finding these keywords and it has been explained in the slides. Uh, then the other thing that I planned for the students is that I wanted the students to understand and communicate by sharing their thoughts uh, after watching a YouTube video at the beginning of the lesson. So at the start of the lesson, there was a video that I have shared to the students. And through that understanding and communication, I wanted them to just understand what was being passed down in terms of knowledge and information to the students. Just trying to see what they understand. And there is this uh, part where I asked the students what did they actually understand from that and what they actually will be expecting uh, within the lesson. At the same time, I actually wanted the students to benefit uh, in the lesson from the reading text passage activity and also the, the quiz because these worksheet and quiz tasks are actually used to properly test the knowledge that they have gained either in a very specific manner or in a very uh, like entirety of the class, like once the class has been nearly completed, there's a worksheet that they have to complete. And the reason is to gauge how much they have actually gained and what they actually understand throughout the entire lesson that has been provided to them. Uh, and obviously I provided them like with a quizzes session uh, to serve as one of the assessments that can be used to measure their understanding in class. But at the same time, it's also to make sure that they are uh, maintaining engagement in class to keep their attention and their awareness uh, in class as well. So when it comes to the practice part of this vlog, we talk about um, what I have actually done throughout the entire lesson, right? So early in the morning, I prepared a Google Meet session where they can actually enter for the class to be conducted in. 
so I will be conducting this uh, lesson right so I prepared this link for them to enter and I will conduct the lesson through this uh, Google Meet link and the, the link has been created and the class went on well just now and then in terms of um, starting the class session I started off with greetings uh, giving them a warm welcome asking about their morning or how has it been then I proceeded to actually play the YouTube video that I've prepared for them so uh, you can see this on the screen the video is about reusing reducing and recycling so this particular video is used to tease them with what will be passed on to them as knowledge in class then once the video has been done and I actually asked them to check the understanding I presented my slides uh, which will contain all of the information and all of the, the details that they would need to, to, to absorb and learn throughout that session about supporting details like uh, in a sense the slides are showing like how uh, we understand what is main idea, what is supporting details, how do you identify these like the keywords and then why is it for the use case so the explanations and the lesson is guided through that slide itself so after the teaching uh, for, of supporting details, after teaching them the supporting details, I provided the students with a quizzes session where they can answer the interactive quiz. And this would serve as a way to maintain their engagement in class, but at the same time, it is also to make sure that uh, we can test and see what they actually understood from that lesson. Okay, so uh, after that, I provided time for the students to uh, read this passage titled Ways to Save the Earth. So I provide them with a reading passage and I give them some time to read the passage to gain some uh, understanding of that passage and then they can just look through to find the information that they need. And once that time is up, I then provided them a worksheet where they will have to answer uh, the questions based off the reading text. So I uh, still presented the reading text in front of the, the screen for them if they need to refer to the text and they can answer the worksheet either by downloading the file or through a piece of paper and they can answer accordingly to what they feel and what they know is right so that once that is done uh, when the time is up and when I give them the time to adequately uh, finish their worksheet I finally wrapped up the class by uh, having a closure session uh, where I asked the students about the lesson so far like in terms of feedback and also asked if they did not understand anything in class and what they have actually learned in class. The practice stage is done, let's move on to the observation. So um, throughout the observation and just reviewing my teaching video, I noticed that there were two things that really caught my attention in terms of the execution of the entire lesson. So number one is the lesson um, in the end was okay, it was successful. It's just that from the start of the lesson where the students were actively engaging with me as a teacher, it slowly progressed to the end of the lesson where it was very hard for them to participate and very hard for them to engage themselves in activities like to answer my questions uh, and to also provide the feedback and also to voluntarily come up to voice out what they feel will be right, their answers and that trend, that downward trend of uh, attention and also participation was uh, something that I wasn't expecting because like like in class when the start is well normally you would see a very good trend and a stable trend of uh, interaction and, and um, attention span but this didn't happen uh, another thing that i noticed in the lesson was that some of the students weren't able to fully participate in the activities like there were some students they couldn't join the quiz like there was this one student who wasn't able to uh, participate in the quizzes session and there were some students who were actually having a hard time trying to just participate in class as itself um, and then this wasn't something that I was expecting because I thought that well students are able to participate obviously it's just that why were some students not participating or 
having difficulties trying to participate in the activities and in the lesson which brings us to the rationalization of this like the reasoning behind why i think um the things happen the the, the things that weren't really planned like why it happened so uh, in terms of the engagement in class uh the class progressed well but then maybe it's due to the fact that the class was an early morning class and it was a session where it takes some time there were like longer pauses in between like for example in the reading activity or as we played the video at times because of those certain pauses without proper engagement and interaction both ways sometimes it's very hard to actually get that engagement maintained in a stable form because it's a morning class it's early in the morning some of the students have been tired from the previous day or if some students are actually um, just trying to stay awake because it's like yeah when you wake up in the morning you might feel groggy and drowsy as well so you don't really want to to put yourself in a situation where if you get bored you actually will start sleeping off so i did notice uh, it's an early morning class and students normally have a tendency to to lay back a bit more and that's where sometimes it's hard for me to maintain that engagement and i think that should be the case because that's the rationalization behind it another thing is that uh in terms of participation now in terms of participation as i reviewed the video i noticed that some of the students were telling me about having bad internet connection problems which hindered their ability to fully participate in the activities that i provided in class and that uh, now after reflecting makes sense because internet connection especially in malaysia shouldn't be that bad however there are times where the weather or sometimes it's just the congestion of the network within certain housing areas might have caused a disturbance or caused a issue where the internet isn't really that strong and i can see now why that could be a very plausible reason behind bad internet connections and this is something that is um hard to say and it's sometimes unavoidable because these issues happen without planning and without warning because it's not in our hands to decide uh which after thinking about it for some time and looking at these uh, two problems after the rationalization understanding why it happened we can now move on to the action part of this vlog so what will i be doing as a teacher to further help the students uh, maintain their engagement and also at the same time ease their learning uh, process so that they don't feel left out in class because they're having internet connection problems especially right now during uh, covid season right because you have covid endemic and you are having a lot of issues where you cannot go to school and whatnot so what do we do to ease the students in terms of that number one for me is to maintain engagement in class uh, strategically so there are times where there are pauses in between like reading text they, you would give them a time to read and some students normally read faster than some students right so because there's this gap between the speed and also their understanding so there are times where in the middle i could like just interrupt them for a while and ask like how are you doing is the text okay are there any words that you do not understand and through that interaction it keeps them on their toes so that the students know that i'm still there i am uh, monitoring them but at the same time they still have the freedom to read and then they do whatever they need to while they're reading it's just that they don't lose focus and get distracted by other things while the class is in session and uh, this to me i think would be a very reasonable thing to do because uh, we do not strip them away from the freedom but at the same time we engage with them to make sure that they are still within the class and they don't do anything that is not supposed to be done within a classroom session then another thing is for internet pro problems because it's unavoidable at times so to maintain that participation is something that sometimes would be too high to ask so instead of 
trying to force them to stay in class to maintain that participation, we use what we can to provide offline materials or materials that they can do outside of the classroom period. Like for example, if any students have internet connection problems, the worksheets and the quiz or any certain materials that I can develop in the future will be more student friendly where they can just conduct the entire thing without being in the class because sometimes when they have very bad internet connection problems, they can actually use that uh, to their advantage. So I think that would be helpful for the students and also for myself. So just to sum up everything, I think that uh, the lesson that I planned where I want to teach them about uh, identifying supporting details and actually just trying to teach them about that so that they are able to know what is the main idea supporting details. The lesson itself went well and I believe that uh, it has done its job, it has served its purpose but obviously there are times where you have uh, early morning classes where you have to put a bit more maintenance into it so that they don't veer off and lose focus and at the same time internet connection problems can affect students in terms of their participation as well because students really want to gain that knowledge but because of internet connection problems they find it very hard to participate and uh, we need to be very mindful of that in the future so I think to us as teachers, it's very important that we uh, put ourselves in the students' shoes to make sure that we help them the best as possible. But at the same time, the students can also help the teacher by uh, doing what they can to avoid issues and to maintain their attention in class just so that they can gain the knowledge that they could. So that is all from me and thank you so much.